Hi everyone! In this video we're gonna visit Rasputin's places in St. Petersburg. I'm a huge fan of Rasputin. He is my favorite historical personality. For me he is the quintessence of the Russian soul. He symbolizes Russia in all its controversy. He is both saint and sinful, deep, hard, magical and shrewd person. One day I want to make a video of what the Russian soul is for me. But right now we're going to the center of St. Pete's. We start at the crossing of the Griboyedov Channel and Gorokhova Street. We are going to the house at Gorokhova 64, where Rasputin lived for the past two years of his life in a five-room apartment. I just love going down Gorokhova from the city center. Just a quick stop to have a look at Fontanka River and we keep going. We are getting really close. We need to watch as not to miss the right arch. Not this one because, because you will see it later. And definitely not this arch. Mm -mm. Oh, here we are. Just look at this Gorgon Medusa, she's so cool. You need to wait for someone to walk in or out, but I know the code. <laughs> but sorry, I'm not gonna tell you that. Okay, we're in. I get shivers here every time. He walked this way for so long. His apartment is on the third floor. These five windows at the front, if I remember it correctly, and one in the corner, the kitchen. And again, we need the coat. And again, sorry, I'm not telling you. And these are the stairs where visitors hoping to see Rasputin were sitting and waiting him for hours and hours. Both poor and rich people just hoping to get his advice. We're going up. You don't need to count floors. <laughs> you will not miss it. Here's the portrait. Hello. And here's the door to the left. But today is not a day for visitors. I've been to Rasputin's apartment like uh, six or seven times for the past year and a half. I'm making this video in June 2023 and that day I couldn't walk in, but I was filming my visits before and this is what I'm going to show you now. For decades, Rasputin's apartment was a communal one and each room had a separate owner. And people just lived here. But a few years ago, a wonderful, enthusiastic person, Dmitry Filatov, bought one of the rooms and made a museum and opened it to the public. This is the room which served as Rasputin's cabinet. You can buy an excursion and see it. I will put a link in the description of my video. And now just take in the atmosphere of my random videos. The first time I visited the apartment, Dmitry was held in the excursion himself. But right now you can hear the voice of the historian Yulia Vetrova. 
офицеры остались. И вот там тоже по воспоминаниям Юлии Александровны Ден, офицеры остались в Александровском дворце, а солдаты, что они же, ну, как бы это да, частично, да. И, и отправились тоже туда. И вот именно возмущение, -то, которое и было, что Кирилл бросил императрицу, а у нее больные дети лежали в коре все. Just look at this suitcase in the corner. It really belonged to Rasputin. And you can sit on it. And the floor is authentic. This is what the corridor looks like. There have been no repairs, luckily. Almost. And sorry for not shooting video of the kitchen. And this is the second room that was opened only in 2022 by Pavel Dikov. This is Rasputin's living room. And here you can have a cup of tea and listen to Yulia Vitrova's lectures on Rasputin. Some of my random videos again. A separate lecture on Felix Yusupov is held sometimes. The man who organized the killing of Rasputin. He was an extremely unusual person as well. We discussed Rasputin's personality at Yulia's lectures. She believes that many of the so-called bad things we know about Rasputin was actually the black PR to get to the Tsar. That was Madeira wine in my glass, the only alcoholic drink that Rasputin actually liked. And sometimes they serve it here at the lectures. And here is a small room you can book for a night to spend it by yourself. Yeah, right, you can spend a night alone in Rasputin's apartment. But I haven't done it yet. And right now I'm gonna show you a really secret video. It was made on December 30th, 2022. December 30th is the day when Rasputin was killed. Every year on this day, people gather to commemorate Rasputin and they read the prayers. You don't pay for it, but you need to know your way and why you are here. Two shots is all I have, because I was feeling a bit awkward making videos. That was a unique experience for me, to be among the people who didn't just come for fun to listen to a lecture and visit Sarah Putin's apartment, but to really commemorate him, because he means something for them. Getting back to June 2023, I'm leaving the apartment to have a look at something else which is really close to it. Just round the corner, there are baths that Rasputin visited a lot. Just like a true Russian person. It says baths or bathhouse. And they say that they haven't changed much since then. And you can see it, I guess. These baths are called the Cossack baths. Not Kazakh, but Cossack. I'm a Cossack myself, by, by the way. These are the people who lived in the south of Russia. And still live. It says they function 24-7. Hmm. I didn't dare to check, though.
It says, keep silence. And now we are going to Vitebsky railway station, which is right here by our apartment. This is the railway station where Rasputin was traveling from to visit the Tsar in his uh, country palace. Going in. Buying a ticket to Tsarskoye Selo, the city of Pushkin. We are going to visit the place where Rasputin was initially buried after his death, but then they digged him out and burned. Getting in the nearest train. I feel excited. I love visiting Tarsko Silo. Also, an interesting thing happened to me this time. Look at this guy. I will show you one more time. He resembled Rasputin a lot to me. The looks, the beard, the black clothes. Just one more shot of him before we arrive. Wow. Now we need to walk through the Pushkin city. It's about half an hour. If you're quick. Now this is the Catherine Palace, so beautiful, but that's not what we need today. We are just passing by it to that arch. We are going to the Alexander Park. One of my favorite parks, so beautiful. And I believe Rasputin walked a lot here. But for sure, we cannot know where exactly. Just look at this tiny bridge. It's like half an hour walk to the very end of it. And we're at the place where Rasputin was buried. Well, some researchers say it was in a bit another place, really close to it. But again, nobody knows for sure now. It's the third time I'm here. I visited it twice last summer. And I know my way very well, but you can see it on the maps as well. Just type in Rasputin's grave. Here it is. The bench in the left where people sit and look and think about Rasputin. And this is the memorial made by enthusiasts. It says that the cross was put at the place of the Serafim Sarovsky's temple, where Rasputin was buried. Rasputin, the Tsar's friend. But here is a really unpleasant surprise for me. I can see no portraits of Rasputin on this cross. I remembered clearly that last summer there was quite a few of portraits. And I think I took a picture, but I couldn't find it. I guess I just deleted it. But if you Google it, you can still see it. How come they took away all the portraits? I don't think I'm coming here ever again. Now this place is different. Last summer, I was sitting on this bench and had some really strong emotions. But not anymore. 
Some places get better with time and some just get worse. This is life. I don't know why this happened. Also last summer there was quite a few of people and I had to wait in a line to sit on a bench and come and go a few times. But now all I got to do is to live sad. These are the places definitely to be visited if you like Rasputin. Of course, along with Yusupov Palace on Moika River, where they attacked and killed Rasputin. So that was my overview of Rasputin's places in St. Petersburg for you. What I heard about the apartment is that they opened the fourth room in late spring of this year and there is a fifth room that is still being renovated, the room of Rasputin's daughters.